red. This. You can do something funny with this. <laughs> Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. He's talking about Nemesis. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape. Well, not for you anyway, unfortunately. Alrighty. Well, I already got ammo on me, so for this time, and it's okay to take this first. <laughs> and also because I don't have the oil at the moment, so... Yeah. And much easier since all the zombies are cleared out. here. No, Brad. So this bit already happened. Uh, I should have known I wouldn't get through there. Okay, however, Dario has not left the container yet. Thank you. 
Yeah. I'm almost out of ammo. Wow, I'm amazed that worked. <laughs> Easier, they're gonna come straight here. Actually, I might be able to do this without interacting with them at all. Alright, learning from the previous playthrough, I don't have to fight these dogs at all. Alrighty, two more gunpowders. We got an A and a B in this case. So, for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and make some grenade rounds. Because there is a theory that one of my subscribers brought up. And I'm gonna test it right here now. Apparently there's a theory out there that if you make grenade rounds directly from these two gunpowders before you enter the police station, you are guaranteed to get the grenade launcher every time, instead of the magnum from the, from the cabinet in the police office. Now, if I make these rounds right now, and I retrieve the magnum instead of the grenade launcher, then the theory will be false. So, we're gonna test that out real quick. So, alright, I don't need all of that health, so I'm gonna store these two. Just leave the slightly lesser one. Uh, only having two bullets on my handgun. Well, I'm gonna be receiving ammo shortly anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and make some grenade rounds from these two gunpowders. Alright, now we got grenade rounds. So, now that I did that, we're gonna see if that theory works. I'm gonna storm though because right now they're just wasting space. Alrighty, so when I come across this first live selection, um, I'm gonna... oh, I'll show you. We've got a... Enter Nemesis! Alright, let's watch Brad's horrible death. <laughs> Alrighty, so first playthrough we did nothing, second playthrough we entered the police station. So for this one, I'm gonna fight with the monster, however, I'm still gonna evade him. And I'm gonna get the... I'm gonna get Brad's wallet, because I never took this yet. And then go. So that's basically the same as enter the police station, except you get... you can get Brad's wallet beforehand. Alrighty, so let's check out this card case. A card of some kind is inside the card case. And it's the stars card. So this is, this will save you the trip of having to get Jill's stars card here in the police station. In order to get the code to the safe. Not that I need it, I already knew the code. But just showing it for the sake of showing you everything that this game has to offer. And yeah, once again, I mean, and yeah. Yep, so once again, no need to ask questions because I'll cover it one way or another. Alrighty. Oh, so let's go ahead and use that card. Zero one three one is the password today. Alright, this room we're about to enter is one of the rooms I'm talking about where it could have 
two different arrangements of the enemies and items. Damn it. Alright. So unfortunately... Alright, he's too close. So unfortunately, in all three playthroughs, the enemies were laid out this way. So I'm just going to have to tell you the only other way to do it. guess I'm just gonna have to tell you the other way. So the enemies, first of all, that floor zombie is po could possibly not even be there, and the zombies start out a little farther away from you. Now, when it comes to items, there could potentially be shotgun shells right here on the desk with the other arrangement. So that's why I was kind of hoping it was this way so I could get the shotgun shells here. Shit, I just realized, like, I have no space. Okay. Um. For all the stuff in here, I'm gonna have to come back for it. Ha! <laughs> Alright, get the gunpowder away from here. Ah! Yeah, laugh it up. Alright, Star's card is useless for the whole rest of the game, so it's going way up here. Alright, just a single gunpowder. Let's go ahead and use it up for ammo, since we're sure looking like we could use it. I should try to evade all the zombies I could, so... Alright, store the shotgun for now. Don't need all that health once again. Uh, we're just gonna keep one herbite on us for now. Alright, now let's go back for those items. Ah. Wow! Freaking A. Sapphire. Alright, but it's zero, one, three, one. Alright, star's key. Alright, let's go back up to the office. I actually want to check in here first for something. Shotgun shells aren't weren't in Marvin's office. Where could they be then? All right, there's Jill's stars card. I don't need that. Ah, you would think they would be in here. Oh, and they are. There they are. All right. So here's where the shotgun shells are if they're not in Marvin's office. Just rearrangement.
Well, that was a waste. Okay. Thank you. 